Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW 1 Series, guys, BMW, doesn't matter if you have a 4 or 6 cylinder gasoline engine, guys, and you have a code such as P0443, P0444, any of those two codes, and you're trying to figure out, okay, is your purge control valve solenoid good or bad? Stay with us and we'll explain, guys, how you can test your purge control valve, guys. That's what we'll be doing today. You gotta make sure until the end, uh, stay until the end because there is some, some tricks guys and I'm going to explain all about that today. Quick introduction to the channel, every single car we get at the shop we make guys at least 200 free repair videos, specifically on BMWs guys that we get at the shop, we make more than four to five hundred videos guys why we do all that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can if you need to buy a new purge control valve guys we'll have the link in the description of the video below you can find all the tools parts uh, that we use for our bmws and you can see where we get them from so this specifically is a six cylinder engine guys okay six cylinder but even if you have the four cylinder the procedure for testing the purge control valve will be the same let's start quick by explaining guys okay what the purge control valve does okay and what uh, uh, why it's so important guys when you put gasoline in your fuel tank guys that gasoline actually creates vapors fumes uh, and as a result guys those uh, those vapors will create pressure there is a sensor in the in the fuel tank in the canister that detects how much pressure you have and it tells the purge valve we have enough pressure open that valve will open and the fuel vapors and the fumes will come from the fuel tank and they will be injected in the intake manifold they will burn through the engine they will give you more energy so the car is more efficient you're not wasting fuel in the form of vapors fumes and you're not polluting the atmosphere but that thing guys can fail in two different ways and we're going to explain about that towards the end the purge valve it has two guys two different okay wires here one is positive one is negative now practically guys doesn't matter where you put the positive it could be on the left or the right side but it's super important that you do not touch the positive and the negative because if you do what could happen actually you will automatically burn your purge control valve so you can say bye bye to it be careful guys now uh, we'll need alligator clips that's what we're using two wires we have the link listed in the description of the video below please check it out okay and we're going to go ahead install the alligator clips on the wires make sure they don't touch each other and you need to apply 12 volt supply guys now i recommend using a car battery on that bmw we can actually use the negative ground wire there and the positive from the jump starter and that's a 12 volt supply once we apply the 12 volt supply guys you're going to hear that thing clicking okay opening and closing listen now okay it's opening and closing but doesn't mean that it's working correctly guys why because it may be opening and closing but the valve may not be functioning correctly on the inside we will apply a little bit of air guys from the air compressor very low pressure air we have about five pounds of pressure and when it's closed the air if you apply air it will not come out of this side guys okay let me show you now and when we apply you will hear the air coming out listen now So you can see guys definitely a good working valve now you gotta make sure that it's opening and closing second air is flowing when you don't have 12 volt supply it should stay closed if it's open it's uh, it, you need a new valve if guys okay uh, it can fail in two different ways stay uh, stuck open or stuck closed stuck open is when the valve is open all the time it shouldn't be that way stuck closed in when when it's closed and it does not want to open when you apply 12 volt supply even if everything checks out good make sure that the the uh, hose here is not uh, cracked anywhere o-ring is good and check out the hose that is coming from the fuel tank guys to make sure that it's not cracked as well hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure something like that out thank you for watching and see you guys next time